This is the Hayoki Rhino 52 volt 26.1 ampere hour battery 1000 watt electric motorbike version 2. The upgrades that were made to it are it went from a 48 volt to a 52 volt battery, gave us better quality hydraulic brakes, went from a black and white display to a full color, now giving us an impressive torque of 96 newton meters and a long range of 1,456 watt hours, claim top speed of 28 miles an hour. Of course, I'll be testing that out. This e-bike stands out from the pack with its power and looks that turns heads. Not only did Hokey give us all of these upgrades, but also reduce the price, which is incredible. It's on sale now for only $15.99, and with my discount code, it goes down to $15.50. I'm gonna test everything for you guys. Top speed, acceleration, brakes, heels, PAS, and a crazy gnarly off-road test. Going to run it through the ringer and see if this e-bike is worth your money. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very exciting full review prepared for you on the Heike Rhino e-bike. But what is it? Is it an e-motorcycle? Is it an e-bike? Is it an e-moped? Well, it has pedals, but it also has a big gas tank here, which is the battery. It comes with a very large 52 volt, 1000 watt motor. So it has the power to match its looks. But before I tell you everything there is to know on this Hayoki Rhino, let's roll the intro. <music> to me, this e-bike does resemble that of a Rhino. It's short, but beefy, it's muscular. Now come check out the shape of the battery, okay? So it's, it's pretty um, thick on the front and then it becomes narrow. So this is so you can like pedal comfortably and you're not banging against the battery. It does remind me of the hump of a rhino right here. What's also really cool is this button that you have on the top. This is to check your battery levels without having to turn on the bike. So if you press here, I don't know if you can see it's blue. And then the blue means that it's going to be in like 80% and higher of charge. Then the green in the middle, more like half battery and then red is going to be a quarter left so then you know you can charge it okay now let me show you the saddle so it's well first of all i really like the contrast of the black matte paint it's really smooth to the touch and then the contrast with the brown saddle it's very long it's kind of narrow on the on the front and it does not feel very soft or plush so i hope that with time it's going to break in and feel more comfortable then I am not crazy about the fake motorcycle tank look, but I do love that Hauke added this utility basket around, down here. You can carry your belongings, tools, a snack, your jacket. So right here I have my tools and I'm very happy that Hauke thought of this because most Scrambler style e-bikes, you can even add a rear rack or a basket. So, this is going to give us a lot of utility. Also, Hauke gave us a handle right here on the back. So this is if you have to move your bike around in the garage or wherever, it's going to be easier. It's a cool retro design with a big bright headlight. I love it. It also comes with a really bright rear light right here that also acts as a brake light. If I press here, you can see it blinking right there. Now, this robust frame is made out of 6061 aluminum. It weighs 82 pounds and it has a payload capacity of 82 pounds. It comes with a 3 amp charger and it will take nine hours to charge from empty to full. The total length of this e-bike is 68 inches and the wheelbase is 46 inches, which should make it fairly nimble. Now, the, oh, the, um, the height of the saddle is 36.5 inches, but honestly, it feels like it's shorter to me. I will have to measure it myself, but I am 5'11 <clears throat> with a 32 inch inseam. Let me take the, the footrest off and I'm going to sit so you can see how it fits me. So my foot being placed all the way to the floor and then you can see I do have a pretty good size, um, a pretty good size bent. And then when we go on the test, you'll see how it fits me while pedaling. 
This e-bag stands out from the rest of the pack because it comes with a very large 52 volt 26.1 ampere hour battery for an estimated range between 65 to 95 miles. And it also comes with a thousand watt brushless hub motor that generates an impressive 96 newton meters of torque and it's branded Hauke. It also comes with a chip that generates prompt and reliable signal processing, shielding your bike from harm, but it also delivers immediate power, so there is no lag when you start pedaling or using the throttle. So now, between the two components, we should be getting pretty good range and power. It comes with metal fenders, Kenda 20 by four inch tires, 20 by four are my favorite for a moped style e-bike. Then we have Shimano seven gears. This is a 14 to 28 tooth. We also have a Shimano derailleur with a guard. I like to see that. Also, if we go to the front, we, we see your chain ring over here. This is a 46 tooth. So it's not very big and we'll probably get ghost pedaling, but it doesn't matter guys, because this e-bike is really meant more for throwing around than for pedaling. Before we go on a ride, let me show you the cockpit. So the handlebars, they have a little bit of a rise to them and they're swept back just a little bit. This is more of a cafe racer style. They are actually pretty comfortable guys. Then for the grips, we have round hand grips. Uh, it's, it, they're, they're rubber, they actually feel kind of cheap. Then we have Sim Air's hydraulic brake levers. I've never heard of this brand. We have your controllers to go up and down on your PAS levels. Then we also have buttons. This is how you're gonna turn your front light, front headlight on. It also has daytime running function. Then down here we have the horn. It's pretty loud, not the loudest I've heard, but it works. And then we have uh, side buttons over here. Well, we have the one under here, under your controllers, this is to turn your bike on and off. Then on the side, this is going to be to change your settings on the display, which by the way, it's a full color display. So you can change between odometer, trip, maximum miles, or an average uh, speed. This is for your speed. And then under here, this is just to change the brightness of the display. So it's, it's an easy, uh, it's an easy display to use. So up here you have your, this is a big full color display. You have five battery levels over here. As you can see, I have them completely full. Then right under, right under you have your, uh, oh yeah, the, your miles, uh, average miles an hour. Then you have your speed right here. And then that's where you have your PAS levels right there. Then, if you, we look to the right, we have your typical Shimano SIS shifter, which is very crisp for, for uh, changing gears, and you can change more than one at a time. And then all the way to your right, we have an awesome half full twist throttle. All right, guys, all there is left to do is take it outside and put it through its paces. First impressions on the Hauke Rhino version two. Let's see how the acceleration feels. Oh yeah. This feels like a 52 volt battery, guys. A lot more peppy than your typical 48 volts. We have some uh, twists and turns here to see how the bike handles. And I'm gonna be doing some zigzags too, but. All right, so on first impressions, the handlebars. Um, you know, they, I, they don't feel, they are very different from your typical BMX handlebars which for that really nice upright riding position, even like those giraffe handlebars that you get on some of those folding e-bikes. So like I was saying, they are cafe racer style. So they are not completely upright, but I'm also not completely bent over. It's a really nice in between. I'm really digging it. Um, so they have a, the handlebars have a 27.5 inches and together with a 32 millimeter thickness, paired with a riding sitting position and this like kind of slung down that you have here with a long saddle, it truly feels like I'm riding a motorcycle. It's like a lightweight motorcycle. Let me, let me do some, uh, some zigzags here to see how the handling feels. So now the, the handling, it's funny because it does feel nimble, 
but at the same time your steering is heavy due to the inverted front forks in the front obviously um, but it's so cool guys i really like how this bike handles also something to note the saddle the saddle feels really stiff hopefully it will i mean this e-bike is new it's really new so hopefully it will be uh getting more comfortable guys this is the acceleration test zero to 20 throttle only and pedal assist five starter chronometer one two three go Woo! <laughs> quick to accelerate seven ten eleven sixteen that eighteen hey twenty all right guys so now we're gonna do the uh, pedal assist levels wow <laughs> it takes off right away too number one let me bring my gears down so number one eight miles an hour okay let's go up to number two very smooth oh, no powerful takeoff it takes you hard up to 13 miles an hour we're gonna go faster now john okay pedal assist three. Oh yeah oh yes okay bringing my gears a little higher here 18 18, 19 miles an hour, pedal assist three, pedal assist four. Woo! <laughs> this bike has a lot of power. Oh my God. I'm still giving it input. 25 miles an hour. Pedal assist five. This is also a top speed run. Let's go. Woo! Takes off right away, guys. No problem. Wow. Straight away, 28 miles an hour. I see 29! <laughs> I saw 29 for a second! Yeah! Guys, this is the reactivity test. I want to see how fast the cadence sensor engages with that chip on the motor that I was telling you about. Pedal assist 5. I'm going to throttle first. One, two, three, go! Guys, it's immediate! Oh my gosh, it's immediate! Okay, now I'm going to slow down and exactly i'm going all the way down to like six miles an hour five miles an hour and now pedal assist one two three go wow guys it only takes like a half a revolution of the pedals for it to engage oh i love it i am so tired of the e-bikes that just have a huge lag and it's smooth too it's not torquey but it's powerful because it's a 52 volt all right guys this is the brake test 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 25 miles an hour, and I'm gonna break. One, two, three, and break. Wow, very good stopping power, guys. Let me show you. So we have Seamare's hydraulic brakes. Let me show you the rotors. They are 160 millimeter rotors, and yeah, they stop really nice. These hydraulic brakes have also been upgraded from version number one. Guys, something to know is that your throttle is paired to your pedal assist. So in number one, um, that's, so the throttle is gonna give you the same amount of power that on pedal assist one. So only, you know, the seven miles an hour. Number two, then that is like, again, like the speed for number two. So in order to get to your top speed, you do in your, th with your throttle, you need to be bringing it all the way up. So okay something else to know is that for like big turns or like u-turns let me let me do a u-turn right here okay john i'm gonna get behind john oh no there's there's a biker coming there's let let, let the biker pass and then i'm gonna do a u-turn for you guys over here okay one two three okay so now i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna do this all right, so your turning radius is limited, and that is because of the inverted forks here. So as you can see, thankfully, they, um, Hauke gave us rubber, rubber grommets, so they don't scratch your frame. But I want you to see that. Can you see it? See, that's it. So if you're like maneuvering in your garage and stuff, just know it's going to be tight. Before we go off-roading, let me show you what we're working with. So we have a really nice front fork. It's Exo brand, 
It has a travel of 100 millimeters. It has a rake of 42 millimeters and a boost of 135 millimeters. Now, Exho is a really nice high quality fork. I have seen it in other high quality e-bikes. So I also really like that they gave us, we have a preload adjustment on this side and we also have a compression on the other side. So you can adjust it to your weight and your riding preferences. Now, Unfortunately, Hauke didn't give us a rear suspension. And even though you have a pretty thick seat over here, it does, it, it does feel pretty bumpy and it does hurt my butt on like, well, off-roading on bumpy rides. Also, I really like that Hauke gave us a like, grippy metal pedals. These are gonna be nice for your foot to stay on while off-roading. And as you can see as well, we have a very heavy duty kickstand right here on the back now the keys on the battery you are you don't need them to ride this is just for locking and unlocking your e-bike all right guys let's go off-roading all right hayoki rhino off-road test let's go so i am on speed mode three and as you can see this is a really gravelly path and it's a gradual up incline we're going up feels really powerful this has great torque and uh, something to know is that this motor is a little loud i guess especially when you start accelerating and it's like getting speed there's some pretty large divots here that i have to be careful with <laughs> oh wow so it's been raining, so it's pretty wet to make it more treacherous, guys, for us. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I, I like the handlebars. They're nice and wide. So I like the control that you can get from them. All right, so over here, we're gonna take, make a left so we can get in the treacherous part, more treacherous. I just clicked it up to speed mode five. We, I think we're gonna need all the power it can give us because it's getting st steeper and steeper we're climbing higher and higher here oh, and then i'm gonna make a right to go right into this big mount so front suspension feels awesome it's really plush but uh it being a hardtail it's pretty uncomfortable for all these bumps i am standing up in my seat here come on hayoki <laughs> oh no it didn't make it this like step heel. You're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to help it pet with pedaling. I don't know if the, okay, okay. Okay, now as soon as I started pedaling guys, it did go up, but not with three. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, the back tire, there's definitely some sliding going on. Okay, all right. Let's, there's a little trail here. Let's see. Well, I guess we can go down here. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, hardtail. I'm really missing a, having a rear suspension. <sighs> okay. Yeah, like I said, the, you can hear the motor. It's like louder than other e-bikes. But honestly, guys, I don't mind it at all. Now we're, we're climbing in this like rocky, rocky terrain and okay, no problem. It's, it's a powerful bike, it has great brakes. Now we're going down, so let's try the brakes. Okay, Woo. yeah, over here, perfect. Brakes are awesome. Oh, super good brakes. They are Gemma Hydraulic, never heard of that brand. Okay, oh. okay I'm straddling the, the battery between my legs feels good because of the shape of it being more narrow to the front okay i'm gonna make a tight turn here yeah good handling like i said with the white handlebars okay now we're gonna go up again okay throttle only when it starts getting steeper i am gonna help it with the pedals i think but yeah you can do it oh, oh, oh my god I went through a huge bump. I thought I was gonna fall. But this is why we're doing this off-road test, guys. Oh my God. 
taking it in the most treacherous terrains for you. I'm gonna help it here. If you just help it a little bit by rotating the pedals even, because it's a cadence sensor, it's gonna go. You're not gonna have a problem climbing over anything. Like I said, with that little bit of rotation of the pedals. Okay. And I guess if you're gonna do throttle only, you might need a more of a run start here. But okay, wow. Yeah, as soon as I start pedaling, it just takes off. I'm in a flat, obviously, here. And one last pretty steep incline, no problem. And now we're going down. Whoa, this, yeah, this breaks her. Oh my God. <laughs> I slid a little bit there because I hit a rock on the side. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> okay, back to the trail, <laughs> the gravel trail. Woo! All right, guys, this is the heel test. Pedal assist five. This is a short but very steep hill. <laughs> I'm having to help it a little bit. Oh, yes! The rhino made it. All right, now we're gonna go down on this steep incline, see how the brakes feel going down. It's a heavy bike at 82 pounds. Wow, super good stopping power. Guys, this is a very special e-bike because it truly feels like a lightweight motorcycle. I love the way it handles. I love the way it turns. I love how powerful it is. And I love how good this looks. I was, it, it catches a lot of attention what, while we've been filming. I've been stopped by a few people asking me what it is and stuff. It's just so beefy. Um, Hauke is using really nice components. They really upgraded this bike from their version one model. So they have better hydraulic brakes. They have a bigger and more powerful battery. So they went from a 40 volt, 48 volt system to this 52 volt system. I'm going to keep writing it and making lots of videos for you guys. It has some very nice components, a two year warranty, a 15 day return policy. I love that um, how I love to see especially a moped style e-bike using a 52 volt battery. I hope that more and more e-bike companies start heading in this direction. Guys, this bike feels like it punches way above its class. This to me feels like a $2,000 plus e-bike and it's only $50.99 but with my discount code that I'm going to leave down in the description below for $50, it goes down to $15.50. Things that I would like to see improved for the Hauke Rhino version number three are, Hauke, please give us a more plush seat. This is too hard. Also, I would love to have them put a rear suspension. Now, if they did those two things, they would be a, this would be an almost perfect motorbike. Oh, of course, I would like to see being able to unlock to higher top speeds than 28 miles an hour because I'm a speed junkie, but at the same time, they are complying with the legality of e-bikes in the United States. So that can be a pro and a con, right? And yeah, other than that, I love it. Guys, thank you so much for coming along to another one of my videos. I will be seeing you tomorrow back for another video. Always remember, whatever you're doing, happy riding!